In this video I'm going to show you how to solve a system of linear equations with three unknowns. So the first thing we've got to do is decide to use one of the equations to eliminate, eliminate the x's, the y's or the z's from the other two. It doesn't matter what you choose but some things are going to be easier than others. In this case it wouldn't really make a big difference whether I chose as x, y's or z's because I've got a single x um, in one of the equations, a single y in one of the equations, and a single z in one of the equations. I'm going to choose to get rid of the z from the second and third equations using the first, and that's because I've got a single z and it's the opposite sign to the others. But it doesn't have to be that, I just think that will be a little bit easier. It's always good to label your equations so you can describe what you're doing. So I want to do equation 1 plus equation 2. So I get x plus x is 2x. It's important to notice that the each equation is set out as x is y, z then equals the constant. And then I've got um, 2y minus y is just a y. Then minus z plus z is nothing. And then 2 plus 2 is 4. So now what I want to do is four lots of equation one, because that will give me minus 4z, plus equation three, which will cancel with a plus 4z. So four lots of x is 4x, plus the 3x is 7x. Four lots of 2y is 8y, um, plus the 3y is going to give me 11y. And then, this is where we're going to get the bit the bigger one, 4 lots of 2 is going to give me 8, plus the 21 is going to give me 29. So I'm going to call those equations 4 and 5. So now I'm going to use these two equations to eliminate either x or y. Well, I want to eliminate the y, because if I now do... Um, Let's see, 11 lots of equation 4 minus equation 5. Well, 11 lots of 2x is 22x. 22x take away 7x is 15x. So we've got 11 lots of y take away 11y is nothing. And then we have 11 lots of, 40, um, of 4 to give 44 take away 29 is 15. So x equals 1. So now I've got that, so I'm going to substitute that value of x into either equation 4 or 5. Well, I think considering finding y, 4 makes the most sense. So that's going to give me 2x, that's two ones. So that's 2 plus y equals 4. So y must equal 2. So now I'm going to substitute the x value and the y value, and I can either do it into equation 1, 2, or 3, and I'm finding z. I think equation 2 will be simplest because there's only one z there and it's a positive. And that's going to give me um, x, which is 1, minus y, which is 2, plus z, whoops, plus z, which equals 2. So that's going to give me z equals 3. So my solution is x equals 1, y equals 2, and z equals 3. 